You're watching the Players Network. joining Fielding and I. How are you doing today? Hey, you want to see some hot stuff? I love I got hot some hot stuff, stuff for you today. No, 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 watch this. Set the whole damn no, no, place come here, on come here, fire. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You didn't think I was going to put that in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, no, no, watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really going to do it? It's real fire and it's... <gasps> oh my, you blew the fire out of your mouth just then. God, <laughs> do that. Hot stuff. I have a burning desire to kiss you now, Fielding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want some gas mouth? Exactly, a mouthful hey, boy, of lighter fluid. If you thought that fluid. was hot, wait till you see the young lady that we have on the show today. She's really hot today, and she's a magician. I love that. Absolutely. Yeah, her name's Joan Decor. She's exceptionally talented and really cute. And there she is. Hi, Joan. Hello. Fun magic today, but first I have to warn you, there's a lot of misconceptions out there, and, and I don't want you to think, uh, think wrong of me. So I, I just want to clear the air right now. I'm not going to saw anybody in half. I'm not going to change your $1 bill into 100 and I'm not going to make anybody disappear. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. <laughs> uh, instead, I do magic with rope, which is much more frivolous but highly entertaining. It's the tangled rope trick. And it's untangled. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Anyway, here, let's see. I did mention this was frivolous, and I'll show you why. We have a rope here with two ends and a middle. That's normal. But if it was frivolous, uh, wouldn't it have like something like three ends? Or we could really party, maybe give the rope um, four ends. But that's a bit unsymmetrical. So we're going to take two of these ends and move them all the way down here just like so. So we've got two ends here, we've got two ends here, and we got two ropes right here. Now let's see, two ropes, we need to change them back into one. But first things first, we're going to tie a knot in the ropes right about here. Hello. And then we're going to take these two ends, tie them in a knot over here, creating our second loop. Hello. So we've got one loop here and one loop here, or so logic would dictate. But with a little bit of a tug, a twist, and a pull, logic flies out the window and two becomes one long loop. Now it seems I need to explain a couple things. I need to explain the difference between magic and talent. <laughs> what you just saw, yeah, that was the magic part. That could never occur in the real world. Talent is something completely different. It takes years of practice and many dateless nights. <laughs> I was an ugly child. So here's my talent. Not good enough for the Miss America pageant, but I'm working on it. It's tying a knot in a rope in less than a second. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, also, I know what you're thinking. See, I'm also psycho. No, psychic, sorry. Um, a lot of people think that I'm actually using some sort of trick rope. Well, you're right. <laughs> we have two ends here, we have a middle here. We take the two ends, if this was a real rope, we couldn't do that. Two ends here, and a middle right here. Uh, what is she doing? How did she do that? It's just like me, it's a little loopy. <laughs> <laughs> Not much like you can that. do with an endless loop. So we're gonna take the ends right about here, we're gonna tie them on to the loop. Now if you watch really carefully, you might actually see the ends fuse meld right back on. Here we go. That's magic. Now what's a good rope trick without a grand finale, huh? Not a good rope trick, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so for my grand finale, I'm going to take this rope, I'm going to cut it into two ropes and I'm going to put them back together again. Only I don't have scissors. Um, that's okay, real magicians don't need scissors. We'll make do right about here. Find the middle, a little snip snip, that's all it takes. Oh. One, two, but that's the easy part. The hard part is then going to be putting them all back together. So, here we go. 
Most magicians will wave their hands over the rope and snap their fingers, and the rope will instantly restore. But I'm not going to do it that way. Instead, I'm going to make it restore very slowly so you can actually see the magic happen. As I tug on the ropes like this, you'll notice one end is going to start to get a little bit longer while one end gets a little bit shorter. This is the ropes slowly restoring. One longer, one shorter, one shorter, one longer until we have a long rope here and a short rope here. Wow. Now for the hardest part of all. The, the short rope gets tied right onto the longer rope just like so. And I want you to keep your eyes on the shorter rope. Keep in mind how long that is, because that's all going to change really soon. See, as I move my hand up and down, you're going to notice that that short rope is really starting to get shorter and shorter and shorter. Wow. Till all we have left is a knot. We simply untie the knot, what? and we're left with one <laughs> long <laughs> rope. Oh, that was fantastic. Wow. Um, that was Joan, Joan, yeah, you were you, fantastic. I was so impressed. Oh, thank I'm you very, very much. Impressed. And you are funny too. Oh, we're so thank you. For that, you comedians. Like, so I'd like to think so. Right? <laughs> a woman oh, with a rope. You. You've won my heart. <laughs> did you bring those from home? Did you? Uh, yeah, uh, from my private collection. <laughs> <laughs> They're very tricky. <laughs> did you have any idea how any of those tricks? Listen, Being a magician, I, can you I, see I, the? I, I knew. I know a rope trick. Yeah. But what John just did was all new to me. I've never seen that before. Wow. There you, you go. You teach this yourself? Teach this to yourself? Do you have a mentor? Learn it from a book? Um, I learn a lot of things from, from books and reading. And then I do have a mentor. His uh -huh. name is John Thompson. Ah. And, um, the great Tom Sony. The great right. Tom Sony. Right. We've and had him on the show before. He was sensational. Oh, he's amazing. He yeah. can do everything from close up to, to large stage stuff. But what, what ends up happening is a lot of times I'll learn a, tr a trick or learn a new effect, and then I'll take it to him, mm -hmm. and he'll help me clean it up. Or sometimes he'll suggest a trick, you know, oh, you should really look in this book because this trick would be great for you. you okay. know? The, the quick question for you. Do you have another trick? Can you show us something real quick? Sure. Let's do, let's do a card trick. Okay. Right. Excellent. Do, do you play cards? Yeah, I'm great at snap. Never heard of snap. Oh, really? It's an Australian thing? Well, uh, uh, are you from Australia? No. Uh, ask me if I'm from Australia. Are you from Australia? No. <laughs> so, so tell us about the snap thing. All right, snap, you play it when you're like five and six years old. You know, I mean, you're, you have half a, half a pack of cards each, and you put them all down, and when you get a matching color or a matching thing, you just press snap. It was actually a joke, but because you don't know what the joke is, it's not funny. These, so are, the same right people, right these are the same people that wrestle crocodiles, okay? <laughs> I need to say more. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I'd rather play snap okay. than wrestle crocodiles, We're going to do this really, really quick. Uh, okay, uh, uh, like can, can you take out uh, a card? Any card you like. I'll take the red one. Don't show it to me, <laughs> but show it to Fielding. Show it to the cameras and I will read your mind. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. You'll read my mind. Oops. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's <laughs> usually blank. Right. I hope so because they're, they're all blank. <laughs> In fact, this trick is so old they, they developed it before they actually printed playing cards. <laughs> but we're going to make your card different. Oh, okay. Because I wouldn't go this far unless I could do something kind of cool with it. Take this pen, write your name nice and big across the face of the card. T. Oh, pin no. number is optional. <laughs> exactly. You never know until you ask, right? Okay. Give All it right. to you. First the pen. First the pen. So no one loses an eye. And then <laughs> the cards. <laughs> All right. Teresa. Mm -hmm. Now, how many cards did you sign? Just one. Just one. Excellent. So since you only signed one card, if we were to put that card in the center of the deck, there would be no way it could be right back on the top, correct? Absolutely none. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Let's try this again. Teresa's card in the center of the deck, so there's no way that it... Ah! You are you good. I, I have, have no, no idea. idea. I cannot see what you're doing. I, I can't even see it either, and I'm the one doing it, apparently. You're sensational. Would you ever reveal to someone like me how that might be done so I can win friends and influence people? No. Oh! <laughs> John, you're fantastic, and we want to thank, thank you very you. much for being with us today. We've run out of time. Just ah, but I'm going to convince you. you some more. Thanks, Fielding. Thank we'll you. see you again next time. Magically yours from us.